Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be taking some time to remake Desiree's 4231 system. Now if you guys do like these tactics that I upload onto this channel, please do subscribe to the channel, be sure to leave a like on the video and leave a comment on what manager you want to see next. Still plenty of time before the next Super Manager game comes out, so I'm sure your tactic can be featured. But let's start by breaking down a little bit about how this tactic actually works. So we're going to take some time in to look at this. This is going to be the first picture I've got to show you guys. This is going to be the 4231 lineup as we can see and how we how we sort of plays out from the back. Um, so typically does actually go out to the fullbacks from goalkeeper. I personally added a little centre back in there as well, just so you can play to any of the back four because I do like that side of the game. Um, that's the only thing I've tweaked. But as you can see here, just from the arrows, obviously it points out very clear. Total football analysis do a great job every single time. The goalkeeper's got an option to either full back. The centre-backs have got an option on to pass to. But also, obviously, if you look, they can all they can all link with each other, basically, is what this is trying to show. You've got the centre-backs that can have an easy pass to the full back. Centre-back to centre-back. Centre-back to full back. And vice versa as well um you can see obviously here showing that the fullbacks can sort of drop back as well to pick up the ball so if they are too far up they can simply come back receive the ball from the goalkeeper and then they can build up again but it's a very effective way of playing out from the back but just obviously you have to tweak some things when you're trying to play in football manager because some things simply do need to be tweaked um the only thing i've changed when it comes to this side of the game as in playing out from the back i have added it so he distributes to the center backs as well just so there's not as many errors errors sorry errors in my opinion this image here is a perfect example of exactly why playing out from the back in my opinion is so key in the modern game here you're going to see one of the it's going to be the left center back here actually playing a ball into this midfield play here because what's happened is these two players have pressed the guy here and it still leaves an absolute acre for this centre back here to play the ball into this player and obviously when this midfield player gets it this is one player there is four options he can pass to so loads of options on the ball and this just shows that playing out from the back is still a very very good way of playing football and very effective obviously he can go to the wide player he can go to the striker he can go to I think that's another advanced player there but also he's got the other midfielder right next to him so for a player to receive the ball and instantly have four options is really really good we do get a chance to actually see a little bit about how the teams or the players do attack in this system and it is very impressive the fullbacks do get quite aggressive in this system um typically obviously pushing up towards near where the wingers are to be honest with you and then the wingers have different sort of ways of attacking i'm um, obviously just before we get into that you've got the attacking midfielder dropping back a little bit to possibly pick up the ball but also will make the run further up the pitch and then as for the center forward he does play quite close to that attacking midfield player to sort of link up but the wingers do do a little bit of both in my opinion they do look to cut inside um they do look to go out wide with the ball one thing which i see a lot of when i did watch these games is the the what uh, sorry the wide winger in this case is going to be barrage um obviously we're not going to be talking about these type of players now because this is actually i believe when he was with sassiolo but at the current time with the players that we've got you're going to see the right hand winger sort of drift up here and by the time he gets to around this area here you're going to have either boga or it's going to be Rodrigo come all the way through into that box on the other corner and it's a simple ball across and it's always on so having them sort of attack and fullbacks as well as wingers that do cut inside but also can go out wide is very effective because it's very difficult to defend when you don't know if they're going to cut inside they're going out wide but then the fullback can come and overlap so it's very hard to defend against so we are going to have a screenshot or a few screenshots to show you guys from actual games of sort of how that does look in an actual match and as you can see here you've got the back four and you can see exactly how easy it is to spread it about this back four because you've got the whip from the fullback or both fullbacks actually which makes it incredibly easy for a center back to find that correct pass and obviously you can keep recycling back and forth as many times as you'd want to going into this screenshot here then we are actually going to see a little bit about what i mean by how dangerous them wingers are the fact that they do cut inside as well as they can go out wide as well but you've got baradi here actually cutting inside with the ball and look at boga there in acres of space it's a nice simple ball all the way over into boga who to be honest can easily get a shot off a goal there the one thing he actually does even say himself is that 
he does try to win games purely by outscoring teams and obviously sometimes this doesn't work what you're seeing here is how one ball can simply break this system down the right hand side so i have made changes in this tactic to try and prevent it so a few things are also tweaked in this midfield area because obviously i want to release a tactic as accurate for you guys but to be honest sometimes if you stick exactly to what you're going to be seeing you can see how easy one ball simply splits the entire it takes out that one pass takes out sort of three players there and it's only Locatelli that is near um number 37 there now in my opinion this is still quite a defensively solid tactic um I don't know because obviously it isn't a video game this but for me it did defend quite well um what we're going to be seeing here is sort of how we do shape up when it comes to defending what does it like a counter-attack um you're going to have the two centre backs applying quite a lot of pressure onto the number 10 here um obviously the wide area is the only area of concern and um, the fullback is only now going out to him but in terms in terms of man marking it is actually quite close you've got number 14 obviously doing a job here you've got these this player here marking this player very tightly here so on the on the sort of you know the defending side there is a little bit of pressure coming in um it's not the most intense pressing style you're ever going to see but for me it does defend quite well especially in the game but like i said there are a couple of tweaks in midfield purely because i did notice we were getting hit on the counter attack um, this is sort of how they defend shaping up a ball going into the box type of thing. So obviously, this the, I think this is actually going to be the, the advanced picture from this one here. So he manages to go down the line. He gets the ball in, but to be honest, it's pretty well controlled. Um, you're going to have two centre-backs versus one forward player. Number two should sweep across and get that, in my opinion. You obviously got number 22 that can mark this player here. And that's all there is on the counter-attack. So it is capable of defending counter-attacks, but it is just one of the weaknesses compared to a lot of other counter-attacks. Now, counter-attacks, other tactics, sorry. Now, this can be tweaked. So, for example, if you're nervous about this, don't go too attacking with the set pieces. Be a little bit more resilient with that because set pieces, obviously, are prone to be countered on. So that is something that you guys can feel free to tweak around with. So the first test is going to be with his previous side Shakhtar and this was an absolute domination. We won both of the Ukrainian trophies, won the league and also got to the semi-finals of the Champions League versus PSG. Absolutely incredible scenes there, scoring 135 goals and only conceding eight, dominating the division with points as well. In terms of the data hub then, team attacking absolutely outrageous again from me four and a half goals per game pass completion sitting at nearly 93 93 percent very very impressive from us there and very very dominant team defending absolutely outrageous i know we were definitely the strongest team in this division but this is putting dominance on another level 0.27 conceded a game tackle win ratio could be a little bit higher granted being honest but to be conceding 0.27 goals a game and attacking looking at 4.5 honestly nuts so fair play to that absolute absolute joy to test for Shakhtar. We then go over to what is going to be his other side or his current side, Brighton. Danny Welbeck being the star of the show here with 37 goals across all competitions. But we actually managed to finish third place in the Premier League, which is absolutely phenomenal for Brighton. I think they'll take that any day. Um, quite a disappointment. Apart from the Carabao Cup, we get all the way to the semi-finals. Unfortunately, we do lose to Liverpool there. Disappointment in the FA Cup, but it is against Arsenal. That is their cup. Um, obviously, we then look at what is going to be goal scored, second best in this division, which, again, if you take into consideration, you've got Manchester United, um, Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, all very, very good play, um, good sides with great attacking options. We've come in and got second best. A little worse off for goals conceded. So obviously the defence not as solid, but this is the Premier League and we are a team that is a mid-table side. So I mean, realistically, this is done very, very well. In terms of the data hub then, team attacking, still very impressive. Over two goals a game, sitting at 2.26. Pass completion around the 90%. We'll go with 89% to be completely accurate. In terms of team defending, just over a goal a game conceded, but we are scoring over two. So that's completely fine. Um, tackle win ratio is slightly higher in this division, which does surprise me because I thought there might be a little bit more of, you know, the odd dirty foul going here and there. But to be honest, very impressed with how this has gone. And for me, that is two tests and two very successful results. So the game I've picked out is going to be a 6-0 win with Shakhtar against Inhaletz. I think that's how you say that. I do apologise if it is wrong. But let's break this down then. So it's going to be the centre-back picking up the ball here. 
out to the wide area into the fullback, actually. He's got to use the man inside, back out, and that is the link up between the sort of winger and the actual wing back. Great overlap and run into the middle. And obviously, a little fun fact Lucina Triore with Shakhtar. He's an absolute mountain of a player. What a player. I remember him. Like, fair play to him. Absolute unit of a player. But then, gonna have this arm um, winger just slightly come in and pick up the ball here. Taking it out wide again, though, to the wide area. Cuts it back into the fullback. He puts a wonderful ball in into Triore, who gets it into the bottom right corner. So we are seeing how actually is that given as an offside? No, it was given as an onside goal. I'm just checking. We then pick up the ball from deep here, play it into midfield. And again, this is where we're going to see a little bit of the play build up. Zobkov with the ball here, putting a wonderful ball over the top into Lucina Triore, who puts it into the bottom right hand corner. And that was just a little bit of build up from the back, how easy it is sort of transition the ball from the back to midfield to attack and we do that so frequently in this system guys not much to talk about here it is a penalty very poor goalkeeper in terms of letting it go right back to him um that's that's priori's fourth goal i believe there this is a good bit of play here actually though we're going to pick the ball up on this side here back into the central area beautiful play we're going to see it here I'm short to pick up the ball. A wonderful ball back inside and tucks it into the near post. And that is just, it shows a little bit of the movement of the players and how easy it is to create these chances. Um, last goal of the game, we're going to take it out wide. Obviously, a lot of goals you are going to be scoring from these wide areas. Not necessarily scoring from the wide areas, but a lot of the goals, a lot of the chances are going to be provided to you from these wide areas on the pitch, as you're going to see here again. This one actually might be a little cutback. It isn't. It's a ball in the box. Little flick on inside on the volley and the keepers had a bit of a mare there again. But overall, a very dominant game and a game which we definitely did deserve to win in terms of the stats. As you can see there, absolutely outrageous stats. 27 shots, 14 on target, 3.5 XG, 62% possession. So a game which we definitely deserve to win. Um, so in my opinion, a very, very successful game to watch. And at least we get to see a variety of goals. Now, before we do get into your favorite part of the video, which is going to be the tactic breakdown, please, guys, do smash that like button below and do subscribe to the channel for more content. There's loads of content coming out pretty much daily now. And if you guys do want a last ditch attempt to win a copy of Football Manager 2023, this video is coming out on the 29th. The giveaway is going to be announced on the 30th. So head over to my Twitter page in the description and make sure you enter as your last chance. So then, guys, this is going to be the Dazabi 4-2-3-1 tactic made by yours truly. Now, this is going to be the way it lines up then. So positive mentality, fairly narrow, overlap left and overlap right, play out of defense, shorter, higher, be more expressive, run at defense, work ball into the box and mix crosses. Little heads up, if you guys are desperate for a goal, you're not getting a goal and you just want to, you know, you're thinking, oh, we're trying too much, you know, creating the perfect goal. Untick this. It does work a lot. But as it is going to be Dezabi sort of way, it's going to be on. In transition then, counter press, counter, distribute to the fullbacks, centre backs, and obviously the other fullback. Now, this is something, again, which is a ta little tactical tweak for me. Um, If you want to 100% replicate Dezabi, bang, and you're done. But for me, I feel more comfortable when I can. I know that the ball's going to go to any of the defenders. When it's just the fullbacks, sometimes you do see horrific passes being made. And that is why I've selected the entire back four. Out of possession then. Standard defensive line. Standard whip. High line of engagement. More often on the press. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And get stuck in. That is going to be that side of the tactic broken down. Now, let's get on to the player roles. So, sweep a keeper on the defensive duty. Shorter passing. Take fewer risks. And also tackle harder. Going over to what is going to be the right back. Which is going to be a full back. On the attack duty, fairly straightforward. Um, it's going to be balanced, tackle harder, sit narrower, get further forward, and shorter pass and selected. Going over to the other fullback. Again, very, very similar. It's actually going to be the same. Balance, tackle harder, get further forward, sit narrower, and also shorter passing. Two ball playing centre backs up next. Exactly the same duties. So I'm going to show you one of them. You want balance, tackle harder, shorter passing, and that is simply it. Going over to the sort of maestros in the side. This is the bit I have slightly tweaked. You want a centre mid on the defending duty. You want him on balance, tackle harder, shorter passing, and on shoot less often. You don't really want your midfielder shooting too much. 
And on the right to him, we've got a Roman playmaker on the support duty. You want him on balance, tackle harder and shorter passing. And again, shoot less often. Going over to what is going to be the attacking players. So on the left-hand side, you have actually gone with an inverted winger on the support duty. Balanced, sit narrower, cut inside and shorter passing. This is where we're going to see them wingers cut inside and then the fullback sort of overlap to create that deadly duo on the wing. On the right-hand side, you want an inside forward on the support duty. Balanced, sit narrower, get further forward, cut inside, shorter passing. Very similar to the left-hand side, but this one's just going to get a little bit higher up the pitch. Going over to the centralised area, an attacker midfielder on the support duty, balance, tackle harder, shorter pass and selected. And then the last player, it has to be a press and forward on the attack duty, more often and shorter passing. Now, if you guys do find yourselves picking up too many bookends, there are a lot of these players that are on tackle harder. So feel free to speak that if you guys wish to. And that will definitely help with the amount of bookends that you are picking up. But that is going to be it for me today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tactic recreation. If you have, then please smash that like button below and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, if you guys do want to download this tactic, it's going to be available to you guys in the description. It can be easily found. Simply download it from the Mediafire link. Click on this option here, load, and you will be ready to go. But that's going to be it for me today, guys, and I will see you in the next one.